because they want to and it's just it's it, it means the world to me but I want you all to know that now moving forward you're going to be helping animals with this money so um, I, I want to give back and pay it forward so whenever you comment whenever you like whenever you subscribe you're not just helping me you're helping the animals and this organization that I work with we we took in 3,000 dogs and cats last year just in 2023 2100 the year before so these are this is thousands of animals and we don't we don't just take them in and house them. We rehabilitate them. We provide vet care. We, we adopt out these animals. We do not euthanize these animals. The only time we euthanize is like if, if you know, we get an animal that's been hit by a car and we can't save it or we have, we take in an elderly dog and it, 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 it gets some sort of illness before it can be adopted. I mean, for, for, compassion reasons we will euthanize if we have to or there are also occasions where we get really aggressive dogs that we just cannot rehabilitate dogs that have been involved in a dog fighting um in our community it's there's people that still do dog fighting it's a disgusting it's a disgusting um clandestine operation that goes on in our community but there are a lot uh, there, there, there's a lot of it going on and, and it, people just don't see it. So at any rate, again, I just wanted to take the time to just make this announcement. I'm not going to be uh, talking a whole lot about it moving forward. I may mention that proceeds all go to Animal Protection League, but um, certainly um, that, that noise you heard was the Discord. Somebody's commented in the Discord. So I always like hearing that little noise. But uh, also, when you'll also note that on my videos, I never really ask for subscribers. But moving forward, I am going to make that change because of two reasons. One, because now I'm not doing it for me. So I'm not being selfish. I'm doing this for the animals. So I'm going to make a little bit more push to ask for subscribers when I start my video. The second reason is because I'm close to 10,000 and I'm just looking forward to reaching that milestone. So I hit 9,000 a couple days ago and uh, I'm really excited about hitting 10,000. So, you know, if there's anything you can, you guys can do to help my channel, I just, I really appreciate it. And, you know, if, if I can get this up to $500 a month, um, then that's, uh, that's $6,000 I can give. Now, so the commitment I'm making is I'm going to double. So whatever this channel makes, obviously all of that will go. I'm going to double that amount as another personal contribution to our cause. So it, I'm hoping to be some, I'd like to be around $20,000. That's what I want to donate. So um, I'm hoping that that's between this and my money that I would like to be able to give $20,000 in 2024 to this organization because I, I work with this organization. I know they're doing the right things and I know that all of this money is being used. I'll give you an example. Our director makes $60,000. She works probably 60 hours a week. I'm on the board of directors about three or four months ago. We offered her a raise and the board members agreed that we're going to give the director a raise. She refused to take a raise. I mean, she she is all about these animals and nothing else. She has no desire for anything. She didn't even want any more. And you know, like with inflation and stuff is difficult. So she has a heart of gold and I want to help her build this organization because it is a worthy cause and um, there's there's nothing better I think we can do with our money so um, please take the time to watch this video and um, just know that by watching it you'll be helping helping me help these animals so thank you again for everything and uh, I will see you on the next one
don't forget to watch this video. This is the current facility where the Animal Protection League in Anderson, Indiana houses the neglected animals of our community. It is currently situated between the city street department and the wastewater treatment plant. This was the old way of doing things. Put the unwanted animals of your city out of sight so they remain out of mind. Today, this is no longer considered acceptable. In 2023, the Animal Protection League took in over 3,000 animals. We are a private nonprofit, but we carry the responsibility for being the public shelter for the city of Anderson. This means we don't have the luxury of turning animals away. We must, and we do, take in every single case, sick, injured, dangerous, and even the dying. You name it, we see it all. We have a team of dedicated staff and volunteers that work diligently to save every single animal we take in. We do this by aggressively pursuing every possible avenue of rehabilitation and adoption. Our operating expenses in 2023 were $850,000. The city of Anderson covered 220,000 of that budget. That means three quarters of our expenses were paid by amazing donors like you. As we look to our future and how best we can tackle the growing problem of unwanted animals in our community, our primary focus is acquiring a new facility. Our current facility is old and the animals in our care live in cages. This has got to change. There are so many better alternatives and we can no longer sit by and let this problem continue. These animals deserve better and it is our mission to ensure that the future of animal welfare does not resemble the past. This is the year for change, and with your help, we will accomplish our mission. We have found the property we want to acquire, but we need your help to accomplish this monumental undertaking. This is the property we have chosen. It has over 12,000 square feet under roof, that will allow our animals to live much better lives in suites rather than in cages. It has ample room to have education rooms where we can educate the youth so their generation does not commit the sins of the prior. Five acres of land to ensure all of the dogs in our care get daily necessary exercise. Clean and well-equipped medical facilities in order to better care for the sick and the injured animals we take in a place where animals can live in our care without succumbing to the anxiety and stress of living in cages in an overcrowded facility. It has been said that oftentimes humans do things simply because they can, forgetting to ask if we should. Can we keep a dog on a chain? Yeah, it's legal. Should we keep a dog on a chain? Absolutely not. Can we ignore the problem of overpopulation in our community? Yeah, you have that right. Should you ignore it? Absolutely not. Please join us as we do the right thing for these animals. With your help, we truly can turn this problem around. It starts with you. Please go to inapl.org today to donate.